today on this video I'm going to do a recovery if anybody's been watching the heavy d sparks channel and his heavy iron uh, series that we did a while back moving all the big excavators i'm going back to grab a piece of equipment that was left there one of the thumbs was left up there when we cleaned up and left so i'm going up there to get the thumb why well, get the thumb because it's going to go on the john deere so i'm here at the shop and i've got uh loaded up some of my tools got some uh, oils and stuff a battery a few things i've got our tilt deck with a winch so basically i'm going to get up to the the thumb tilt the deck back hook the ram and the thumb together and winch it on and come back well that's the easy story i really hope it works out that way because i'm going by myself it is a two to three hour drive out in the middle of nowhere once i get out there i have no cell service so this is going to be an adventure again nothing like i haven't done before except for probably as far as by myself and as a big of an item as i'm getting back it is probably the farthest and the biggest so i've maybe got a couple more things to get and then i'm heading out well i'm all loaded up now i'm heading out driving on just a, a highway is uh, uh, like no more than like an hour or so but I'm gonna break this thing up to five parts in my mind so I first first got to get to Snowville and there we'll make, make sure that we fuel up because one of the things I forgot to pack away was a gas can with extra gas I, it was in my head and I just completely spaced out so we got to make sure completely filled up with fuel at Snowville and that's where we get off the highway and then it's like about an hour drive there and back so I'm gonna break it up so like part one is simply getting to Snowville part two is going the back way out to the uh, old iron three would be getting the uh, the stuff loaded up four would be then heading back to Snowville and then five would be getting back to the shop so as each of those go i'll be uh, a little bit relieved as <laughs> as each one uh, progresses smoothly so i'm really hoping that the loading uh, progresses smoothly and i don't have any real issues i'm not i'm going to be light i'm not going to be carrying more weight than i need to i'll be way under uh, uh my weight so I'm not going to be pushing anything to the limits or whatnot but you never know when you get out in the middle of nowhere and at the last minute I decided to throw an extra coat another uh, two liter of water and some other drinks in just in case something happens uh, when I get to Snowville I'll let uh, Iram know that if I'm not if he doesn't get a call back uh, in the evening to send out a search party <laughs> so uh, I think I got everything figured out just can't, I can't believe I forgot the gas can but uh, we should be able to, uh, uh, that shouldn't be a, an issue. In worst case scenario, yeah, I, there shouldn't be an issue. Uh, it's not that far. Uh, all right, well, I'm just now for the boring drive to Snowville. As usual, you got to consider the price of the gas. So we're not doing too bad, only 12 gallons to get here. I've headed off uh, 
I-15 now. I believe that was I-15. I'm not sure. But uh, heading out now towards uh, the heavy iron. Uh, still on some paved road for a little while. and ranches out here so I made my last phone call notifying everybody where I'm at and going so if I don't get back by 9 they'll come out looking for me so I just got off the main road that direction is the city of rocks that way is where uh, the heavy iron was, but we have to go down this direction a little bit and then cut across. So now we're on the rough road. So it'll be a little bit slower than normal with the trailer and stuff since we're not on the uh, asphalt. So everything seems to be going good. I don't seem to have any issues yet. So it looks good. It looks like most of the snow is gone. Hopefully we have no real snow right down to the bottom. Luckily the thumb is at the very bottom at the staging area. So I don't have to go up through the snow. So, all right, well, let's keep on the trucking. Yeah. Made a little mistake in my original assessment of where uh, Rock City was at. I'd actually pointed over there, but it was a little bit farther to the south than what I initially pointed and one more range over. So Rock City's right over there and I have to get to on the other side of these hills here. And uh, coming up is some of the roads that uh, I don't really have an uh, exact memory of which way to go. So I'm going to have to really pay attention now. Ooh, those uh, last few uh, the miles that I was traveling, couldn't quite remember them so much in my mind. I was getting a little worried there, like maybe I'd gone a little bit too far south. But now I'm on a place that I recognize. That if you came from that way, we've come from that way before. Now I've got to go left. And once we get right through this uh, canyon here, we will be back. We'll be right in the main valley with all the uh, with the thumb and uh, uh, just east of where the uh, heavy iron was uh, taken care of. So, all right, almost there. Now uh, we're just coming out of the canyon, and those mountains right there are the ones that uh, had the heavy iron. I'm trying to remember exactly which one like right in that area right there but we don't need to go all the way up there we're gonna be down at the bottom I'm here at the southern intersection of the valley uh, all the heavy iron was right up on top of here some of the equipment Dave pulled out was right in this yard here and uh, I guess this heads south southwest and this is going to head us back around to where the staging area where the thumb is unfortunately there's not a real easy road to get right over there so we're gonna have to drive all the way back up and around probably a good 15 maybe more miles just to loop around to get to where we need to go but we're almost there Looks like we got some water in the way. But I'm trying to remember if I went, I'm pretty sure I had, I came this way and not that other way. And we'll just go through the water. I wasn't feeling good about that, but I did not choose wisely. So I've got to turn around here, which is a little bit of a pain with this trailer. I think I can do it right here and I'm back around there and loop around, so gonna be gonna be real tight right, just a few minutes off my woo, through the water again off my uh, original 
path, but we're now back on the right trail. I was just thinking to myself, couldn't remember exactly how we came off from the main uh, dirt road, but I remember now. So we follow down this and then we hang a right. So I remember almost going down that road once before when we were coming in. I think we may have, may have, and that might have like stuck in my head, even though it was the wrong way. Well, it's muddy right in this one spot. I'm trying to see if I can get the trailer through right here. And I got it through. So, looking for the thumb. There's a thumb right over there. Uh, I'm glad it's dry here, but right by that gate, it is muddy. Without four wheel drive, I wouldn't have made it right to here at one spot. So getting out is gonna be interesting. But uh, with the four wheel drive engaged, I think I'm good. That's what we got right there. Oh, there was another ram there too. Uh, whoo! Well, now I got to figure out uh, which direction I ought to come from. I think I'll just come right here, hook on to this, to that, and then winch up. I'll have to get all these up on the on the tilt deck before I can fully winch it up onto the deck. So, we turn this truck around and, oh man, yeah, I did hit that one area with the mud. Uh. I've backed up to all the stuff right there, but I'm just gonna take a breather here and relax. It's always a little bit stressful. It really uh, worked out for me today looking at what's at what's around that gate and the snow by the gate there if I would have come a week earlier I would have gotten stuck over there there would be no way to get through that even though it's just one little spot but apparently the uh, wind would blow the snow drifts right there and it is a muddy mess right there but I was able to get through it in two-wheel drive and just barely slow down I could have probably finished in two wheel, but I put it in four. So once I'm loaded up, I will also be heading downhill. I shouldn't have any problems. But now it's just working out loading this up. I'm gonna grab some of this stuff here and throw in the back of the pickup truck first. And I guess I'll clean up a little bit. Be nice to clean up this. Oh, look at that. We had left some uh, chains. So, and there's more chains. So we left a bunch of stuff here. I'll keep my eyes open, do some cleanup, and uh, lo and then get ready to uh, load up. Let's see, let me see about tilting this deck down. Uh, come on. Working before. Uh oh. I'm having an issue trying to get the uh, tilting it. Well, I'm gonna grab some uh, tools and see what what's going on now. Well, I didn't have it on camera, but I uh, tapped one of the units and got it to come up. And it, then it didn't want to stop going up and I had to tap it again to get it to stop. So at this point, I'm not gonna fill with it. Even if I have an issue with the pump or whatever, I can always get this tilt deck down, even if I had to disable something down here. So we're really good at this point. Now just need to hook up the winch and the winch was working without any issues. I'm gonna have to probably replace the pump it's pretty beat up either that or the relays or something like that but it'll have to be pulled out and rebuilt so okay that's good to have the tilt deck down so 
now I'm gonna try to uh, get the, oh yeah, I was gonna bring the stuff in first. Got a bunch of loose stuff, put it in the back of the bed. And we left some really nice chain here. So I got two links, a nice chain, a binder, and I see some more stuff out and around. I can see some stuff over there. Is that a Yankum rope? Oh, it looks like one of the big Yankum ropes. All right, let's load this up. I gotta walk over there. What do we have all here? Oh, yeah. Well, that's just wood. There's one of our bars. Ha! Oh, there's one of our big Yankum ropes. Oh man, can't believe we left it here. And then uh, this, whatever it is, it came off of one of them. Well, I guess I'm gonna grab this Yankum rope and load it up. That was a nice find. I guess I'm gonna. I'm gonna put the camera down, put some of the stuff in, and then I'll start videoing as I uh, winch in the uh, thumb and that equipment. Okay, I'm gonna start winching this. Uh, let's see if I can turn it loose. Oh, I guess I can do it that way, that'll be easier. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can run a chain through all those in that eyelet and pull it up. This one up and flip it around to do that. nasty grease on that
I sold or pulled the ram out on that one. Let's keep going in. Looks like that one ram I may have to uh, take off. Yeah. Let me uh, set it up a little bit different so it doesn't get caught on the edge. Using all my strength, I just flipped the one on, flipped it over. Let's see. It can still keep coming on. Oh, that's fine. That works. Doing good. Looks like the hydraulic lines are going to grab. See that? Okay, something seems to be catching. But I don't really see where. Probably just because I'm like right at the limit and I'm like bending over this A and it's putting a lot of pressure there. So I'm fully on the trailer at this time. Uh, I want to move it forward once I put the tilt it down. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to put it down now. Let's hopefully I can get this thing to work. I hate to have to open up a hydraulic line and uh, use the cables uh, or the uh, ratchets to pull it down. So let's try. Well, it's going down a bit, so I'll use the winch to help pull it down. So, put a little more pressure. More pressure. Well, at least holding the down button and using the winch helps. Hooray, we have it, let's get it locked into place, awesome, now I'm just going to tighten this cable up right here, just want to make it tight, and I'll come in a little more, right there, just leave that there and then I can start I'll grab what's left of some of the junk over there, throw it in, take it back, get rid of it, clean up a little bit here. So we do have a little bit of work on this uh, hydraulic uh, pump right there, but we, we did it. We loaded up. So basically at this time, I've done the first three parts of this. Basically load it up uh and drive here and load it up so not completely done loading but the rest is just stuff by hand i can throw in the back of the pickup truck or maybe throw some right back here but i've got plenty of straps to strap this stuff down i'm gonna strap it down and we'll get back after that's done and i'm starting to put the chains down get all the binders ready See if I can get this thing to work a little better. Wrong way. Oh, 
Well, with the way my load is and the way I got my chains, I will probably have to tighten this a couple times as I'm moving because I don't have a really good way to do it. I've got a couple other spots. I'm gonna put some more chains, but uh, once I get the three chains put on, then I will go to uh, putting straps down too. So I use both chains and straps and get everything tightened down really good. put one chain right across I just don't want this thing uh, to move or slip or slide anytime on the way it's 2 30 got the trailer loaded and strapped down got all the stuff in the back of the truck cleaned up the garbage that was still left we did pretty good cleanup before we left but there was so much snow stuff got buried underneath so I've got all that cleaned up. I found a bunch of our equipment that we use on at Heavy D Sparks channel. And now I'm gonna head out. And when I go through that gate right there, I ain't stopping for at least uh, 500 feet. Cause I do not wanna get this thing stuck in that mud bog over there. So I am going to be in four wheel drive and just cruise right through that. So let's hop in and get going. Here we go. Wow, this thing's really bogging down. And through there's a couple more spots down here that we'll have to go through but they're pretty short as long as I keep my speed up I'll be fine like right here the water's running from that the stream over here Let's get right through right here whoa whoa boy I was sinking on that one Wow, oh, that's old buddy. Oh, we're past it. There's only like a couple uh, spots ahead where there's uh, big mud puddles. I think, uh, I think I'm gonna keep it in four wheel drive until I get over that one little hump over there with the mud. Here, it's like really, really soft. through that one area there okay uh, since I got past that and I'm some dry ground I'll just check all my ratchets here and get everything yeah, it's a little bit loose let's get it tightened a little bit more reset those once I get to the big road that one's tight that one looks loose but, yep there we go All right now let's go for a little bit farther Woo! wind's blowing in Looks like a storm's coming. I don't know if it's coming from that way. The wind's coming from that way. But we definitely got to get out of here before that, that storm hits. Pretty much 
much takes me out of any of the muddy areas which is a bit of a relief but still got a little ways to go before we uh, get out of a private uh, land area and more on public because out where we still are right now I may not see anybody out here for a week so we just got another couple miles to go before we can get into the on a public road and uh, where at least somebody will come by a few times a day over there is the city of rocks you can see one of those white rocks sticking way up that big massive one basically the west southwest corner of uh, Rock City if you go over that ridge well with the city of rocks behind me and in front of me where the big iron was here in Junction Valley Road I am now on a county maintained road but so at least now if anything happens, at least I'll probably pop, somebody will go by within a few hours or so. But everything looks good. I, uh, I redid the, uh, ra the ratchets there and uh, all our tires seem to be good. Took it out of four wheel drive. Just do a quick uh, check around the vehicle. Because the road we just came on was pretty rough. Just wanna make sure everything's uh, nice and snug. And now, we're gonna head back to Snowville. And I was initially a little bit concerned about fuel, but we're doing really good. We only used a quarter of a tank from Snowville. So we should be just fine. There's a few uh, scattered ranches down in this valley in the valleys that we come through. It's pretty interesting. Uh, person over there has a pretty nice little setup. Really nice area there. It's almost like his own little country. It's really nice out here, but I I don't know how it would be to have to uh, drive several hours to just get to uh, some place to get food or to the stores or to get supplies. I mean, my place is uh, out there, but uh, I actually am not too far from a little teeny town. So, well, we're doing pretty good. Uh, we're still in the valley. We had to make that big loop around. And we'll be heading out to, down that canyon, but we still have to loop way around here. Uh, it's too bad we didn't have like a way to just come straight across, but that guy's ranch is there. All right, well, just uh, keep on going. big herd of cattle out over here. Got some nice little streams and rivers out here. Ah, it's nice. We've uh, arrived at the intersection for this valley. And like I mentioned before, we picked up some equipment. Dave picked up some equipment here. So now we just got a straight shot all the way to uh, uh, Snowville uh, with a few little side by sides. But basically, we don't we don't have to double back like we just did. And I can say goodbye to the heavy iron. They got. It. Got a lot of that stone here. Wow. That is a lot of stone. We're back on asphalt. Just came from there. And we're heading that way. 
just tightened up everything on the uh, trailer another walk around just making sure everything looks good and we're good to go so now just a little bit uh, farther until snowville and then from there the straight shot back down to salt lake when i came back up on the road yeah i was like whoa i got a little tired so i took a little nap like 20 minutes uh whenever i drive driving just puts me to sleep so i uh, got off of my nap here and now i'm gonna head to snowville we'll get the gas and then head to the shop well up ahead there snowville we're on uh 84 i initially thought this was i-15 but i-15 swaps down there and uh when we get there that'll basically be four fifths of the trip it's the last fifth and uh it'll be good so this one actually worked out fairly uneventful to this point so Still got an hour and 15 minute drive, but uh, uh, I'm pretty happy with how everything is going. So now pulling uh, off to fill up with some gas. Made it back to the shop, and now I'm doing this. I'll have to unload tomorrow. And I won't be able to get it completely washed very well tonight because the pressure wash is not working very well at the moment. But I can get all the big chunks off so it won't be a mess taking it off uh, tomorrow. And then once everything's unloaded, you can finish wash, pressure washing it. So now's the cleanup part. We have to do a lot of this even after a lot of our uh, recoveries. There's a lot that goes into uh, doing a recovery, not just the recovery itself, but the cleanup and maintenance and getting all the equipment. And it's a lot of work. But it's still fun. Just to finish up this video, this is the next day. I drove up here. With the truck and trailer and unloaded my thumb pieces and I gotta still pull out the uh, uh, grab the pins out of the back of the truck but uh, I've got to take some measurements and see uh, if it'll fit and what I have to do to work with it so that'll be all for this video thank you all for watching and uh, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe uh, hit the like button if you like it. If you didn't like it, I'd appreciate you not hitting the dislike button and just not like push any button. But uh, it's your choice. So thanks and I'll see you all on the next video.